I think, most recently. Got the reset and then lost in the reset. Yeah. But still put in a really good effort. Absolutely. Um, and I know what? MSB won at Genesis and Dinos won at Heat Wave. So they're like 2 2 on that. It's if I, I honestly like this matchup a lot. It can be uh, hard to edge guard at times, or hard to recover rather. And I mean, honestly, a little tricky to edge guard. But... I can see this being pretty difficult for Claire, honestly, especially because like the large body and just having a very easy time edge guarding, especially with things like Rock and Down B at the ledge. Yeah, it's it's not the easiest matchup, but I, I find it really fun. All right, going into game one on Gates. ZB's Crag is a little bit different from MSB's. It's a lot faster. It's a lot more just built off of Nair and a bear off the top yeah. rather than like meticulous edge guards. I it's feel like... more plat heavy. He drops from plat with Nair. He does a lot more down B on there to force you to avoid it. I feel like his uh, his movement is just so much more technical than the oh, other yeah, Crag. It's, it's significantly faster. Oh, interesting hitbox on that up tilt. I don't think that was on purpose, but it worked out. Great reaction to just make uh, use of that. Really good on that dare to put, throw the shards back down. Yeah. I think he might be dead for this. He has no pillar. He has no air dodge. Ah, uh, yeah. Misses that F smash and ZB just sneaks on by going high. Didn't really commit to that. And here we go, we're seeing the, the jabs. Yeah, these these little baby dash jabs, the plat boost just carrying Koda across the stage. And the tilt boost too, just to really make sure your positioning is perfect. Yeah, it gives it gives Craig so much more mileage on his tilts. Not gonna be able to get the up strong from that. But really good down smash there. That hitbox is deceptively large. It is, yeah, at least for down strong one, it's basically an end here. Nair up air coming out from ZV, definitely a, a patented favorite of his, killing off the top. The, the visor is off for Coda. I think they might have done that between stocks. Probably, yeah. So we'll see. That, uh, the visorless power up is real here. They seem pretty Ooh. confident with it. Yeah, that was a good catch, but it's not able to kill. Crag is very heavy, and this stage really emphasizes that weight. Good high recovery there to catch ZB enforcement to try and challenge them at the ledge. Upstrong's swatting them away. It's it's so hard to kill crack sometimes. ZB's stuck with the rock right now. Really, really good awareness on Koda to use the down B to catch that. Now yeah. that whole zone, there's no shard, there's no rock. ZB has to do it with his normals. Just like that, you can throw back into it and then get iframes out of that, which ZB probably tried to do to go and challenge yeah. Koda. Okay. And Another Nair up smash taking that. ZB takes game one. Yeah. Now the question is, does Koda stay? No. Maybe not? Probably not. Crap. What? So? So? They're hovered over a couple Earth characters. I think we're seeing the Sylvanas. So, yeah. Raster? Raster? What? And since... When did okay? You know, I mean, uh, I'm I shouldn't be surprised. Anything. Yeah, it's Coda. Coda They've has everyone, but at the same time, I've never really seen this one in bracket before, so this will be interesting. Yeah, I've mostly seen the Ori. We've seen the Sylv, of course. We've seen the Claire, and we've seen the Olympia. There's been a couple others, but Raster is not one of them. Mm -hmm. But I, I trust the process. I think Coda knows something. It is an interesting matchup, and ZB used to have a history of struggling a little bit with Raster. It's been much better recently, as in, like, post-quarantine era. But it definitely used to be an issue for him. Yeah. It can be a difficult matchup, especially if you get smothered by Raster. But a lot of Crag mains have gotten a lot better at it recently. For sure. It's also a matchup where ZB's up air strategy of trying to kill you off the top is much more effective, rather than going for fares off the side. Mm hmm because being able to just catch Raster off the top with his very, very lightweight is incredibly crucial for killing him. Yeah, I mean, that's where he's the lightest. Okay, immediately coming in with the clap, trying to keep these stocks even. I think Rockwell is definitely an interesting stage pick, even though it's very risky because you might die off the sides. You get a lot of really, really good coverage by being able to kill off the sides with Raster. And also that center plat, I'm seeing Koda using a lot of slipstream there and then doing dash attacks off of it in mm. order to get some momentum as like a neutral tool of being able to approach. All right. 
That's kind of interesting. I've definitely seen like Cobra try to do stuff like that, where it'll put Slipstream in a similar area and just maneuver with dash attack jump cancels. Yeah. And like that's just the bulk of his game plan for some games. Oops, several parries coming out there. First the Slipstream going back and forth and then the Rock. Yeah. Yeah, ZB's game plan is a lot more just staying on the platforms, using Rock and Down B shards to just harass. Very, very platform heavy. But Koda's definitely taking the lead right now. Yeah, but the question is, how long is that lead going to last? Can they keep it going for the whole game, or is ZB... Yeah, with how Koda's punishes have been, just one or two good hits might be it. Yeah. He was just immediately getting back on stage and taking the stock. Great call out there from ZB with the up smash. It's the best thing you can do in that match if you just snipe Raster out of the air. Yeah. And scoop him for being a little bit too greedy. Koda just being patient. There's no reason for them to approach. Mm hmm. I mean, DB does have another pillar, so it's like, you gotta be careful with it. Hey, trying to use the day there, just stuff him out the pillar. F smash there would have absolutely killed. Yeah, I'm surprised. I don't know if it was like a misinput or something. There we go. Incredible coverage there. Koda taking game two with the raster. Yeah, dude. It's, it's definitely strong. I, f I feel confident in this pick for sure. And they're sticking with it, going into game three. I mean, yeah, if you take the game, you know, most of the time, why not? There's definitely some reason to switch after winning, but it's pretty niche situations. Spirit Tree usually might be a very risky crag pick, but judging ZB's playstyle, how he likes to get kills with his Nair scoops. Yeah, like his Nair up smash For confirms. Sure. I can definitely see it being a good stage. And like most of his kills, at least, especially like last game, I think both of his kills came from up strong. Yeah. And if you want to thin that top blast zone and kill the lightest character even faster, I don't I don't see why not. Mm -hmm. It's a great stage for that. Yeah, all of his damage, this stock has just been from Ooh. trying to kill off the kill off the top or just like get from Nairs. That's a little unfortunate, just kinda dying after misinputting your nader hold. Oh my god, incredible catch there from Z, but he left to throw the rock up. Uh, throw the pillar up and then try and get your tech there and then you just die. But Coded in tech, being aware of the setup and still got hit by it because they got sent to the right. Yeah. Incredible start there from ZB going into this game three. Ooh. f -clap not going to kill a full stage away. It can be really, really hard for Raster to get things going, especially if they're pointed at triple digits because you just kind of have to just go for like a Nair or a Bear or an Up B or just fish for it. ZB taking that with a three stock. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Koda just kind of fishing for the yeah. run across the stage and scrawl. They got a little impatient, and that happens a lot when playing as Raster. If you can't really get that kill at an earlier percent, and then they're just at like triple digits, it can be really hard to get that setup because none of your just like clap setups aren't going to work anymore. It's either just like a straight clap or a nair, or maybe a dare to catch their bad recovery. There's a couple options. But right. it, can, it, it can feel really, really uphill. Raster is definitely more comfortable when their opponent's at like mid percents for getting into those clap setups rather than just being at like 140, 150. Especially against a big body like Craig. Oda switching to Olympia now. This was the pick that worked out against MSB earlier in Winter's side. Right, and that's like, and I'm kind of surprised you didn't see that from the get go. Going back to Spirit Tree. This is Coda's pick now. Mm hmm. They felt confident in the stage pick, but they wanted to change their character. And with how this worked against MSB, I don't see why not going with Olympia. Yeah, I think it's with the shot. Up B off the Ooh, top? Up is that it? No, ZB. Wow. You have to go for the corner on that. It's a lot like Edelus F Smash, where the best thing you can do is just try and aim for the corner because you'll die off the top or off the side if you go too far in one direction. Mm -hmm. Is he be keeping those downbees ambiguous? Because if he goes a little bit further, the third shard will go on the floor, and then Koda probably would have parried it. You getting the upbeat? Not going to be able to kill. It's probably a good time to just get rid of that crystal field. They didn't get the jump cancel out of that one. Usually that's a really, really important tool for Olympia, just to get around the stage. Yeah. Here we go, getting the up strong. Not gonna kill a character of Olympia's weight. Yeah, she's deceptively heavy despite being small. Definitely around, I think around Craig's weight a little bit smaller? Nah, actually, they, they nerfed that pretty heavily. Oh. But she was in beta. 
which was atrocious. Oh, Don't no. know why she was crag weight in the beta. Down to a break canceling there. Cody getting a quick 61% in a couple seconds. Oh boy. Uzi be oh. trying to go for some sauce there, trying to get the side B jump at down B off the side. Yeah. He's got to get this turnaround, but he's already in the lead. He probably just wanted a quick stop. He'd be just waiting out the side B, trying to catch Koda where they will be landing instead of challenging yeah, it straight up. Oh boy. Up. Bouncing off the wall with that fair. Set up again. Koda texts it. Perfect opportunity. Yeah, Gets out of that up smash. Good timing. Throwing that crystal field out there. If I'm if a ZB the eyes poorly, then that's just gonna be a crystal pop. Koda tries to parry that a little bit early. It might end up costing them. Great armoring through that up smash. Yeah, I'm in the 210 right now. On the states like that, that's incredibly impressive. Yeah. Koda taking a huge lead, hiding under that rock for safety, just to be able to tech into it. Using that focus hack to get through the up, up airs. It's oh, smart. There. You're going to break the rock for their own benefit? Getting yeah, some... a lot of Koda's approaching now is using that focus hack to try and like, catch an attempted aerial and then just challenge that like a counter. Yeah. 244 dying off the side. Mm -hmm. They've still got a really solid lead going in this game for. For sure. Oh boy. Sleepy parries that great awareness. Getting the F tilt. This is. Put lets it rip a little bit early, but ZB is too low to make full advantage of that. Yeah, very important that they're F -tilt, able to catch into it fair. Oh. Yeah. Great setup from Koda. Game five. Olympia counterpick looking strong. Great F tilt jump, double jump fair, off the side, tried and true. Yep. See here, what bands are we gotten? They just jump into troop. Well, no bands. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they discussed it between them. Yeah. But there were no bands on stage. I was gonna assume that Coda would ban something like Aramada, which CP is very known for being good at. Right. Especially with his down B setup, staying on the top platform and then just getting double up off the top on reeds. I don't know if it's still the pin tweet, but it was for a while. Yeah. I feel like I remember this being not the best crag stage. I know a lot of them are not the biggest fans of Trugal, but you do get some side platforms to extend your recoveries on. But I can see why ZB likes it, especially with these kills off the top extremely early. That center platform being incredibly useful, almost using it the same way like with the air model platforms. Yeah. Putting down B on the top, keeping it ambiguous but the last shard goes down. And just trying to threaten space from above. Yeah, like kind of just looks like a normal triplot until you really dig into the blast zones on the stage because they are a little bit strange. Yeah, ZB's definitely been looking for a lot of these near twos to get either an up smash or an up air off the top. Just like that, I can definitely see why he loves this stage. Yeah. It benefits his play specifically. Maybe not the most popular crag pick, but for ZB, he loves it. For sure. Using so much mileage off of these down bees, just Sharky from above, hoping Koda will just try and challenge him for it, and then just getting punished extremely hard. Up smash. That definitely would have been a confirm off the top there. Again, the up Uppy off the top. Ooh, oh, ZB gets out of that just barely because Koda has to do the double side B there. Yeah, good use of the side B, but just not quite enough to kill. Just like that. One more just takes it off the top, looking like a last luck situation here. Yeah. Koda but... has a, a lot of work to do, but I, I definitely think this is possible. As yeah. long as they can keep their composure. Yeah. Here we go, we're getting some up airs, but I don't think that's going to lead to anything crazy. Like yeah. that, ZB takes it. Game five. Got a hug coming out. Mm-hmm. I think that means Koda is playing Penguin for fifth? I can double check. Really? That would be a... Uh... Because hmm. I know that's the top side of winners, which feeds into the bottom, which is why Durai had to play Lucius on the last side. Yeah, and Lucius yeah. played Penguin. So I think that is going into the bottom end of losers. Hmm. Probably, actually, yeah. 
That would make sense. And then... Loser of our next set is gonna fight Akashi. And that's gonna be Giga Bowser and Tapscott. 